So how many times have you watched the video and at some point they're advertising VPN and you're like, oh my God, this is kind of interesting because, you know, for some reason I need VPN for security or to watch shows, TV or some anime movies to, you know, in some other country that is blocked for my country. So, and you know, those are valid reasons to think about getting VPN. And aside from my personal opinion that VPN doesn't actually save you from being found on the internet. It's not more secure than you being without VPN. It's just a ridiculous notion. However, using VPN to watch shows that are not available in your country could be a valid reason to do it. And you can do it for free. And trust me, this is not advertising for a VPN company, none of that nonsense. This is 100% free and you don't have to download nothing. There are free servers that you can connect to and I can show you how to do it with your Windows operating system. It's so simple you wouldn't believe it. There's nothing to download and it will let you, for example, watch shows, movies or anime, cartoons or whatever it is that you're into in other country. And it's free and it's it's ridiculous how they are having people pay for this stuff. You know how many times I've been reached out to to advertise a VPN software? I always decline because I don't believe in that. I think it's nonsense, basically. So let me show you how to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. Thank you so much for joining me once more in this video, or if you're new, welcome. And that being said, Please let me know in the comments if you like this type of content. I know I've done already a bunch of these help desk ticket system videos for tech support, teaching tech support, which is my pleasure because this is something I do and this is all real world. But please let me know in the comments if you're interested in this type of stuff. You know, just say hi, present, I'm here, thanks, or whatever you like. <laughs> it just lets me know that I need to keep making more of these videos and it would be my pleasure to do so. Okay, so we're going to talk about this VPN setup and here is our ticket. So for those people who are watching my videos for help desk uh, systems or, or teaching, I, I suppose, and here is our JIRA ticketing system that we're going to use. So we're going to pretend like we're doing tech support as well as set up this VPN so people can use it, that anybody can use it. And I suspect a lot of people who are not into uh, VPN or uh, not to interview, but not into help desk or tech support will watch this too, and and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to make sure that everybody knows how to do this. So here is our ticket that says VPN setup help, and it says here, please help me set up a VPN so I can watch anime from Japan. Okay, so this is very common because you know people want to watch shows that are in other countries. I mean, some other countries are blocking, just you know, even YouTube or even Google. In, in their country so you know for those reasons you can use VPN and we're going to set it up for free again there's nothing to download you'll see and I'm going to make sure that ticket is assigned to me so again this is just to teach to keep teaching people about help desk and how to go about it so we've received this request we're going to contact the customer back we're going to ask them to take control of their computer and then we're going to make changes so let me show you directly how to do this inside of windows you can literally just go to search bar down here you know this is the easiest and the fastest way of getting to it and just type in vpn vpn there it is vpn settings so this is what we're looking for and sure enough guys there it is you don't need to download anything it's already here it's part of windows operating system and you can use this to set up any vpn that you already have so if you're paying for something god forbid if you're paying for a vpn god forbid um no offense to people who are paying for it. I'm just saying. Uh, I I just I, I I'm just a little bitter that they're you know these the people that advertise VPN companies are fooling people into thinking that their connection is actually secure, more secure. While it's not, you can still be on VPN and still go to a bad website and still get a virus, malware, or whatever. It doesn't matter if you show up to be from Japan like we're going to set it up here and by the way VPN you can still backtrack somebody who's connecting from a different country you just backtrack it doesn't matter how many IP addresses they go through they can still be tracked back and not only that server that you go to something to keep in mind to will 
also it can also intercept your data so what i'm showing you right now this is only to watch movies shows and just for entertainment purposes do not use any of the logins do not use any of personal nothing when using a vpn because it's going over a server that could be collecting that data so just be warned okay in this sense using a vpn for personal and, and sensitive stuff might be even actually be a worse idea not just because this one's free but who knows maybe maybe even the ones you're paying for i don't know i'm not gonna make that connection there because i don't know but this the one specifically i'm telling you about is 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 not for personal use in the sense that i'm going to go to a website log in with my personal id or do banking or anything sensitive like that okay i'm sorry for rambling let me just show you so here it is you don't have to change nothing here you just have to click add vpn connection so now you're just going to add it well how do i get this where do i get this where, where do i get these connect how, how do i fill this out all right well i just did a simple search on google looking for a vpn server because this is what it's asking you for here all of this is asking you for a name of the server's connection password and and uh, login and password username and password if you will so I, I just did a simple search and i came across this website it's called vpngate.net and here they are there are tons these are all free vpn servers that you can connect to they're all and and i'm not affiliated with this i i just did a i swear to god all i did was just did a google search for uh, free vpn servers or something like, i don't know exactly what i did but i'm not affiliated with these people these are just free servers that people set up so chances are these are set up on like i don't know you can set these up on on a, like a linux server if you will and it will route these so here is our japan one and the, you know customer wanted this one so we're just going to use the first one why not and what you need is either ip address or the the full domain name or url if you will to make it easier to understand so we're just going to copy that and we're going to go back to our settings and we're going to select the vpn provider we're just going to select windows built in right so make sure you click on this and select windows built in okay that's first step otherwise you may be confused so why i can't you know do this and that make sure it's selected windows built in okay connection name and you can name this whatever you want we're going to say japan vpn why not right and server name or address so I, I went ahead and copied that right you see me do it right here it's public vpn um you know dash 39 open gw.net so i'm gonna pasta that in there or copy paste it if you will in there all right and we can you know vpn type we can select which one it is and i will just to make sure that i have a good connection and you can leave it automatic it may work uh, in, in most cases but if we go over here to the right so here's our here's our server that we selected on this website if we go all the way to the right we can see that it supports um, uh, microsoft sstp which is secure shell transfer protocol that's what this stands for so it's encrypted but it, the password itself is very simple it, it, it's up here but I'll, I'll show you what the password. so we're going to select sstp for this and you can see the right name that the you know the host name for it is um, um this here right so that's the name of the server that's that's what we copied that's the same thing we copied over right so and that one is using sstp so we're going to select that here it is uh secure socket tunneling protocol i'm sorry i was wrong i thought it was secure shell that's the ssh i got those confused i'm sorry guys i make mistakes sometimes too but i'm glad he corrected me here so it's not secure um shell which is which is which is ssh okay this is secure socket tunneling protocol so i am corrected and that's okay uh type of user uh, sign in info so we're going to leave it at username and password because that's what we're going to get you know we're not it's we're going to keep it simple there's nothing complicated about this as simple as possible and let's find our um, address or i should say username and password and it's right up here right up here right above our first server that we picked and it's right up here so it's username and it's vpn and the password is vpn who knew who would have guessed i certainly would have guessed and i'm sure lots of other people so we're just going to type in v 
VPN, VPN. So username VPN, password VPN. Now, before I click save here, um, we're going to just do a quick check here. We're going to open up a new tab here. I'm going to go to Google. And right now you can already see that I'm in the United States. And you can see here that, you know, Google is just going to default English. But, you know, who knows? Maybe I'm accessing this from another country still it's dot com so most of the dot coms are from us otherwise if it was like uk it would say google dot uk or something let's just go to youtube because we're talking about shows and this and that and here it is you can see that everything is in english and and this and that and we're going to do a refresh on this just to double check once we apply our vpn and we're going to click save. So here we're back at it. We click save. We're going to save our connection that we've set up. Here it is. And one last step, we're just going to select it. We're going to select connect. And here it is. It's connecting, verifying, completing the connection. And boom, we're done. So just to kind of prove it to you, you know, I'm going to leave this here. Here is our YouTube. And we're just going to go to click refresh here. Okay. You're going to, it's going to route us to Japan YouTube. As you can see right now, it's already in, in Japan and it's loading. Admittedly, these can be a little slow, but you can try different ones. There are tons, tons of different ones. And then you can see what works. But here is what shows up in Japan, in, in YouTube Japan. All right. So it's going over that server. And it's to be fair, it's loading YouTube for the first time too. Uh, from totally different country over a VPN server. So it's not like super slow. It's not super fast either. But what do you want? These are free, you know? And let's just go to Google, see if Google looks different. Yep, it's sure, sure enough, it looks different, you know, slightly different. Same icon. Well, let's go to Yahoo. Can we go to Yahoo from Japan? Actually, I think so, because I think Yahoo in Japan is like one of the main places where you would buy stuff from. Sort of like instead of eBay, they go to Yahoo and that's where their market is or whatever. So if you want to buy stuff, I don't know, that's like Japanese car parts or something like that. I don't know. Well, no, I take it back. I know they use a version of Yahoo in Japan to do their kind of, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, you can see the ads are Japanese. Uh, they do that uh, um, auction stuff. You know where you can buy parts and what not car parts so this one's a little bit slow but that's okay you got tons of them you can try and it gives you speed so this one megabits per second it may be okay for 1080p or 720p might be good enough for most people but if you keep scrolling down there are various different ones you can try them you know i suspect the more people are connected the slower it's going to be but then again here here are your options and you don't have to you know if you want to watch something in algeria you can do that. Myanmar, Bangladesh, Iran, France. If you want to connect to the United States, they have them too. You know, Korea, South Korea, whatever, you know. So if you want to, I don't know, watch your K-pop that doesn't, hasn't released in the U.S., go to Korea one. I don't know. Go to YouTube afterwards. And that's how you do it. See, I told you there was nothing to download. There's, it's just very simple setup. Now I'm going to disconnect this because I'm not sure that my uh, ticketing system will allow me to make changes or connect to this website that I'm using from Japan. I probably would, but I don't, you know, I don't know. So I'm just going to add a an internal note. And I'm assuming I already talked to the customer verbally and I did this to him. I'm not going to reply to the customer. I'm just going to add internal note and say configured vpn for customer now you know you can do this for let's say a company you can try this um, because it, it may not work but it may work it should work uh, when a company gives you a vpn access you can try to connect those vpn servers i haven't tried this on a personal computer because i'm not sure well okay i know i'm, I'm sure it's not allowed for my company to try this so i can't test my company's vpn server on here on my personal computer because i might get fired so i don't want that i certainly don't want that and i don't want you guys to get fired for that but technically speaking if you go to add vpn you can just fill this out so you just need the server information sign in this and that then you know it may work all right in this case it does so 
good luck with your um, movie watching. Uh, I don't know what else people do whenever they connect to a different country. You know, access. I suppose if you're connecting to China, you, you have access to YouTube. So there's that. Hmm? <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this type of com uh, content. I know I made tons of these already, but, you know, especially if you're new and, and just joining my channel, you know, you can, you know, let me know, please, in the comments. So that way I know what to make. And you've probably noticed I have more, a couple of more tickets to work that I've already created. And, of course, I'm going to make videos for those, too. Come on, go back. Service management. Here we go, service desk. Here they are. Okay. I haven't closed this ticket. I should close it. I should have done that. I got too excited about the VPN thing. Did they change things? I feel like they've changed things. It's been a while since I've made these. Oh, no, they haven't. It's just been a while. Uh, I'm going to say complete it. And this is going to close our ticket. And back to service. Why am I... They've changed something, guys. All open. There it is. This is what I wanted. So this is what's left over. We're going to talk about this. Uh, there's some chase, some some situations. Wi-Fi can be slow if you're trying to set up for gigabit speeds. So if you have, you know, somebody who's wanting to get super speeds, that's a ticket. And Gmail not working. Count unavailable. This is very interesting, and I'm going to talk about this one too. I want you to look at this here. Look at this temporary error. Sorry, but your account is temporarily unavailable. So that's something to look forward to. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm sorry I, I would have uh, made all of these at one video, but, you know, I, I just, you know, I need the, I need more time. I need more free time to set these, to, to make these videos. So time is, is an issue for me right now, so I make whatever I can to keep it fresh. As long as people are interested, I'm just going to keep making them as much as possible. All right. Oh, by the way, thank you so much to people who are became members. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. And you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.